my stomach may be in disarray, but I am undeniably here to talk about One Piece. What is going on? Um, you know, I've been meaning to talk about One Piece in some capacity, um, whether it be on this channel, Professor Furnish channel, I didn't know what I was going to do. Um, but it's been like years since I've done like talking vlogs about a show or, well, in this case, a manga. Um, but um, I really, of course, I would obviously like to do a Fine Looking, a fine looking Brothers podcast on it um, <laughs> regularly. But lo and behold, um, it's hard to convince any friends to read a manga that has over a thousand chapters. Uh, who would have thought? Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm sorry if I sound like I'm panting or, or over exacerbated recording this. I like damaged my lungs on a run yesterday. Um, like I was running and all of a sudden I felt like this like super intense pain in my chest. I stopped, took a break and then ran the rest of the way. And then like, I couldn't breathe right the rest of the night. And it's still, it's a lot better than it was yesterday, but it's still a little, I still feel a little broken, damaged. Anyway, um, maybe I should sit down. <laughs> um, okay, so the newest chapter of One Piece is like, it's like the most like incredible but divisive chapter of all time. And I feel like people are just jumping to conclusions. And I understand these conclusions because like all of media is falling apart lately ruby game of thrones like like no one knows how to stick the landing it seems like i've heard attack on titan is going to stick the landing but i guess we'll just have to wait and see but anyway um no one really knows how to stick the landing anymore and people are just like panicking um and like am i the only one that trusts oda enough after reading a 20 something year long story so far <laughs> like it's probably gonna end up being like a 30 year story um am i the only one that trusts oda enough <laughs> to to have faith that he won't ruin it like okay so the big crux here is the whole um the whole ending of the chapter in which i mean there was obviously hints to this so far um in which um you know Luffy is revealed to be Joy Boy, the new the new reincarnation manifestation of Joy Boy, however you want to perceive it. Um, and in turn, people are assuming that's also Sun God Mika, you know, assuming it's all synonyms for the same thing. And that, you know, his devil fruit, the Gomu Go no Mi, is actually a special like destiny devil fruit that Joy Boy had. And he's destined because he got this devil fruit to be the chosen one whatever i think people are jumping to conclusions and not really you know they're saying oda is like destroying the themes of his own work but he hasn't done that yet he hasn't done that yet and that's what people don't understand okay so obviously if luffy were some sort of chosen one this destined like prophecy that he will bring the dawn which you know um is likely he will bring the dawn but like you know if obviously why is my arm hurting so much god <laughs> This is like the least flattering angle, but I gotta do it. I don't know what's going on with me today. Like, I'm like destroyed from yesterday. Anyway, um, okay, so obviously, if it's revealed that he is like some sort of prophesized chosen one from birth or the moment he got the fruit, then yeah, that just kind of destroys the themes that Oda has been setting up of free will and choosing your own path in life. And I feel like free will and overcoming obstacles to free will are like, is like the primary theme of the series. And I feel like Oda knows that. He knows that he that's the main theme of a series and he wouldn't destroy it. He's not making an adaptation to a series like Game of Thrones, The Acting So Hobbit and Fire. He is making the series from scratch. Um, I think that's what people need to remember. He knows, he understands the theme that he built himself. Um I'm getting like impassioned, but like Listen to me. I here's here's what I think is going on, and I think this would not invalidate the themes. And if I'm wrong, there is a good chance we are fucked. But it, um, I don't think I'm wrong. I think what is happening is that the Goma Goma no Mi has nothing to do with this. Now, the one hole in my theory is that you know the world government was guarding that fruit, 
And I think that could be a whole separate thing. I think that the Gomu Gomu no Mi can be like the perfect counter to whatever fruit Im, Im Sama has or something like that. But um, and I think that's why they're guarding it. But I think that what is going on here is that Joy Boy is not a specific person. It is a title. And what is it a title for? It is a title for individuals that Sun God Nika chooses to aid or inhabit or manifest himself within and here's what that means that doesn't mean luffy is a chosen one it means that sun god nika is watching out for people that fulfill the characteristics that he wants um and this is not that luffy is a chosen one always destined to fulfill these things luffy is moving on his own free will and it happens so that his decision making and Luffy's characteristics and behaviors and ideals and morals and what he is going for in life happens to align with what would what what Sun God Nika would value as someone he can bestow his ability on, bestow his power on, manifest inside. So what I'm trying to say here <laughs> is that I think that Joy Boy is a title for the current like manifestation or inhabitant of Sun God Nika. That's what I think is the path of this story. And I don't think that root create causes Luffy to be a destined hero. I think it means that through his own actions and own free will, he knew nothing about this prophecy, or if there is a prophecy, he knew nothing about Sun God Nika. He doesn't know he exists. So Luffy, through his own free will, made decisions that Sun God Nika valued, and Sun God Nika chose to aid Luffy. That's what I think is happening. So when Zunisha says that she senses Joy Boy and she senses the little drums of liberation, and it seems now Luffy who is sort of melting into this like weird form, I think that Luffy is becoming a Joy Boy, which is the title, in my opinion, uh, I'm just explaining the word of someone that Sun God Nika chose to inhabit. So I think that ultimately the final blow of this battle against Kaido will be conducted by a Sun God Nika inhabited Luffy. Um, and the question is whether that's the same thing as this Devil Fruit Awakening or not. I don't know. I don't know yet. And that could cause some tricky stuff with prophecy and tricky stuff with that and destiny. And that I'm a little worried about. But I will say that none of that has happened yet. And I still have faith. And I think that what likely is going to happen to finish this arc, I have two sort of branching paths that I think this arc can go down. I think that likely what is going to happen is that while Luffy is being sort of possessed or brought up by Sangha and Nika, all of the straw hats, including Yamato, I think Yamato will help in this because she is a vet, or he, oh my god, I'm sorry, I, I get so fucking mad when people look all Yamato is she and I just did it myself, holy shit, uh, apologies for that, Yamato is a he, <laughs> um, anyway, I think Yamato will be the next straw hat. To join the crew i think all the themes are there all the ideals everything matches up um so i think yamato alongside the other 10 straw or nine i don't i, I can't count um will all team up and sort of get kaido while luffy is being inhabited by sunga and nika or like the transition of power is happening i think all of the straw hats including yamato will come together to sort of like severely weaken Kaido to the point where he could be defeated and that's what I think is going to happen um another possibility and is that Oda is rushing the series done and <laughs> hear me out I you know Kabuki theater I think is five or six acts and we are still in act three of Wano and if it's a three act strut like thing if it's going to be three acts that makes a lot of sense um I'm wondering, you know, my theory of how this series structure was going to be, like, divided out was going to be, you know, um, uh, three acts and then a huge war at the end of each act. And I thought, you know, act one ended with Marine Ford, act two is going to end with Wano, and act three is going to end with the War for the Dawn, obviously. And I, I still stand by my theory that the One Piece is... The instructions on how to assemble the three inch weapon to destroy Mary Joa and create the all blue. But, um, yeah, so, um, all's to say, 
there's a very strong possibility now that this could be the final war we were envisioning and that everyone is going to converge here. I think when CP0 will inevitably be taken out by Sangha and Hika, um, I think that maybe it will cause some of the animals to show up or maybe whatever. Um, obviously, they were excited to take out Luffy because they were worried about this whole Sangha and Hika thing and this whole Joy Boy thing. And I think that, or, or just completely separate from that, and they didn't realize that, that his fruit is the counter to Im Sama's fruit, which is another very strong possibility in the awakened form of his fruit can really fuck with Im Sama. Anyway, um, what if everyone is converging? What if, you know, a lot of people have Luffy's beaver card. Um, his Grand Fleet, I think, all has his beaver card, if I remember correctly. What if they everything converges on Wano, and this is the major incident with the Grand Fleet that we were talking about? And this is really the final war. And then after this, they just sail along to Raftel. Uh, or Laftail, sorry. What if that's the course of the series? Like, and that's the end. And like, maybe this final war is how they deal with the government. And then they sail along to, to Laftail, deal with Blackbeard and such. And um, who I think is the, um, is either holding the soul of rocks in himself or is the son of rocks, one of those two. Um, and... Yeah, all to say, what if this is the final war? Like, what if everything is go still go yet to converge here? Um, I don't think that makes sense. I think, like, it makes sense for the final war to be the final part of the series after Laugh Tale. But um, we'll see what happens. Um, anyway, I'm about to run out of time on this phone, but um, that's my rant. I think people are jumping to conclusions, and I think Oda is too good of a writer for that. And people have to remember, he is n he he's still, like, he hasn't done anything yet. You're just all making it up in your head. And don't lose faith. Maybe I will be crushed in the next few weeks. But don't lose faith yet.